60 years ago, the firefall changed everything. The asteroids rained for days. In a perfect world, firefall could have easily been a remarkable free-to-play title. After all, it's beautiful, fast-paced, and tries its best to incorporate group play. However, with a buggy launch, lack of engaging content, and a studio in crisis, this release feels like an early beta build, and the game comes up short. Far too short. I, I thought I could make them like me by feeding them, but they went through the food so fast, and the next thing I knew, they were coming after me. From the opening cinematic and throughout the tutorial, you get the feeling that you're about to embark on something monumental. The mesmerizing Borderlands-styled scenery combined with the explosive combat, paired perfectly with jetpacks, it builds a speeding hype train in your heart. But then you arrive at the starting zone, and the disappointment rapidly begins building. However, let's back up a bit. Like any good MMO, there is choice to how you wish to play, usually in the form of a class-based system. Known as Battle Frames, this is something Firefall does well. You'll find a melding of RPG playstyles like a tank, healer, and a DPS, with shooter-based classes like Medic, Sniper, Engineer, and the Heavy Dreadnought class, the one which I had spent nearly all of my time in-game. Each battle frame has three different subclasses which can, and most likely will be, bought with real money early on, or unlocked in-game through rigorous crafting. Unlocking these subclasses early, however, don't tip the scales as they are far from game-breaking. Once you've decided on the best battle frame for you, your story begins as Ares 3-5 a Chosen One type mercenary among many that is tasked to lend a hand to locals, other military factions, and scientists. No really, that's about it as far as quests. You some kind of lone ranger badass? Why don't you come and save me then, Merc? Hmm. Therefore, the first of many snafus in this game comes in the form of questing. Being as they are the quickest way of leveling up outside of general grinding and thumping, you'll quickly find that the same types of missions are recycled in each zone. After a while, quests usually go as follows. Go to the board, pick one, and get ready for a long trek across the map to kill a few enemies. Once you think you're done, the quest will then have you run a couple hundred more meters elsewhere and do pretty much the same thing again. Finally, then you have to double back all the way to the quest giver to get your minuscule amount of XP. The point is, these mini marathons you run on each quest bring up another bullet point in the con column of this review. Unless you spend some real cash on a bike, bust your hump and craft a level 41, or just get lucky and get a bunch of one-time use vehicles from the gambling machines, a large chunk of your gameplay will just be spent on getting around. However, this does give you time to enjoy Firefall's lush and scenic atmospheres. From the crystal blue waters of Copacabana to the dark ominous clouds that act as barriers to the unknown, Red 5 Studios deserve more than just a pat on the back for their meticulously crafted environments. The best part is almost every mountain or hill you see can most likely be accessed by using your jetpack, creating, if not much else, a lavish virtual jungle gym. It doesn't help that the game's combat does begin to grow stale very shortly, leaving many fights with you just holding down your left mouse button and mowing down countless NPCs while activating only a handful of skills. And because almost every aspect of the game involves combat, I found that Firefall just really didn't engage me at all. Crafting in Firefall brings nothing really new to the table. However, an interesting way to gather mass resources is by thumping. Thumping basically involves you guarding a large mining tool from hordes of enemies. If your thumper reaches its capacity without breaking, you're awarded a large amount of resources. Group thumpers allow for full parties to engage in thumping, thus intensifying the hordes, which leads to some pretty epic fights. If you're into PvP, then, well, you're out of luck. Apparently, back in Firefall's beta, player vs. player combat in the game was amazing. However, for some reason, Red 5 scrapped it upon release, and players were only left with dueling and some empty PvP arenas that no one seems to really use, at least until endgame levels. Finally, the most important part of any massively multiplayer game, the community. A good community can make a mediocre MMO great and a great MMO legendary. Unfortunately, the song remains the same with Firefall. The entire time I spent in game, it felt as if I was playing alone. From the silent zone chat to the apathetic players I encountered, Firefall's community just seemed broken and unenthusiastic. To be clear, despite all of my criticisms, I did enjoy some of the features of Firefall, and I truly believe that it may have once been a better game before release and could potentially grow into something great later down the line. However, the stale questing, broken PvP, lackluster combat, and antisocial community in Firefall left a burnt taste in my mouth. In the end, I truly felt Firefall deserves a 5 out of 10. 
Well, that is it for this review. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe below, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And as always, check out GameSkinny.com. Thank you for watching.